With the Heart Start Intrepid, you can monitor ECG, pulse oximetry, non-invasive blood pressure, or NBP, and tidal carbon dioxide and temperature. When monitoring ECG, you can use the multifunction DFib electrode pads or monitoring electrodes attached to a 3, 5, or 10 lead cable set. You can even use external paddles to do a quick assessment only. The ECG cable is color-coded and keyed to fit the white ECG port. For proper lead placement in 3, 5, or 10 lead cable sets, consult the instructions for use. The monitoring leads available depend on what type of ECG cable is connected to the Heart Start Intrepid. When you turn on the Heart Start Intrepid and monitor, manual defibrillation, synchronized cardioversion mode, or switch into one of these modes from another mode, the default lead, lead 2, is displayed in wave sector 1. If that lead is not available or has poor ECG quality, the device automatically searches for the ECG lead with the best quality and displays that new lead in wave sector 1. You can also change the waveform for each sector during a patient event. How to change a waveform differs depending on if you are in AED mode or not. In non-AED mode, the ECG wave for wave sector 1 is selected through the lead select button or through the displayed waves menu. Use the ECG gain select button on the front panel to adjust the ECG waveform size for the primary lead. To change the waveform displayed in wave sector 2, 3, or 4, press the smart select knob, navigate to displayed waves and select, choose the desired wave sector, and select, and choose the new wave type and press the select. If needed, select the appropriate ECG wave size and press the Smart Select knob. The Heart Start Intrepid uses the STAR Arrhythmia algorithm for monitoring arrhythmia. Arrhythmia analysis provides information on your patient's condition, including heart rate and arrhythmia alarms. It uses the ECG lead appearing in Wave Sector 1 for single lead arrhythmia analysis. If the device is not identifying the patient's rhythm correctly, you need to initiate relearning. To do this, press the Smart Select knob, navigate to Measurements Alarms, and press the Smart Select knob. Choose HR Arrhythmia and select and choose Relearn Rhythm, and then select. The Heart Start Intrepid will then display a message confirming manual relearning has begun. The Heart Start Intrepid offers an optional 12-lead ECG function using Philips DXL 12-lead algorithm that is available in monitor mode and allows you to preview, acquire, print, copy, and store a 12-lead ECG. In addition, the 12 lead function provides computerized ECG analysis using one of two acute myocardial infarction AMI, detection settings for the DXL algorithm. The standard setting is the default setting and provides the standard Philips DXL algorithm acute MI sensitivity setting found in Philips patient monitors and cardiographs. The EMS setting decreases acute MI sensitivity in the presence of other possible causes of ST elevation that can mimic acute MI, such as bundle branch blocks. A report with measurements and interpretive statements from the analysis is displayed, stored, and printed as configured. To prepare for acquiring the ECG, connect the 10 lead cable to the device. Prepare the skin and apply electrodes per your organization's guidelines. Press the Smart Select knob. Enter patient information and confirm the patient's internal pacing status is correct. Once preparation is complete, 
press the 12 lead soft key. This preview screen displays. Check the signal quality on each lead and, if necessary, make adjustments. Press the Start Acquire soft key. The message Acquiring 12 lead is then displayed, while the Heart Start Intrepid acquires 10 seconds of ECG data. If patient age and sex were not previously entered, you are prompted to enter the information. Use the Smart Select knob to select and adjust the patient's sex and age. Keep the patient still while the message acquiring 12 lead is displayed. Once ECG acquisition is complete, ECG analysis begins automatically and is accompanied by the message analyzing 12 lead. The patient does not need to be still during this time. Following analysis, the 12 lead report is displayed, stored internally, and printed as configured. Now, let's set up SPO2 monitoring, which is also available in AED mode if configured. Insert the blue connector into this port located on the side of the Heart Start Intrepid. Apply a sensor appropriate to the patient's weight. A pleth wave displays while the oxygen saturation is measured and the value is calculated. Within seconds, an oxygen saturation reading and patient pulse rate appear. As the patient's oxygen saturation changes, the SpO2 value is updated continuously. The Heart Start Intrepid can also monitor non-invasive blood pressure. The measurement can be done automatically or manually. The first step is to select the appropriate sized cuff for the patient. The cuff width should be either 40% of the limb circumference or two-thirds of the upper arm length, and the inflatable part of the cuff should be long enough to encircle 50-80% to of the limb. Attach the cuff to the NBP tubing and the tubing to the NBP port on the side of the heart start intrepid. To perform an NBP measurement, press the Start NBP soft key. The cuff inflates and then slowly deflates. If you need to stop the NBP reading, press the Stop NBP soft key. The NBP measurement appears on the screen as systolic followed by diastolic with the mean arterial pressure in parentheses. To schedule automatic NBP readings at regular intervals, press the Smart Select knob. Navigate to Measurements Alarms, NBP, NBP Frequency, and press the Smart Select knob. Select the desired interval and press the Smart Select knob again. Automatic measurements begin based on the interval set. The automatic time interval appears here on the screen. The Heart Start Intrepid offers one channel of real-time continuous temperature monitoring displayed in either Fahrenheit or Celsius degrees and may be taken while in monitor, pacer, or manual defibrillation modes. Temperatures can be monitored using either reusable or disposable probes. Reusable probes connect directly into the brown port on the left side of the device. With disposable probes, you connect the temperature cable to the Heart Start Intrepid and then connect the disposable temperature probe to the cable. In this case, we're using a disposable temperature probe. Apply the temperature probe to the patient. The Heart Start Intrepid can also monitor end tidal carbon dioxide or ETCO2. CO2 monitoring is available in AED, monitor, pacer, and manual defib modes, and on both adult and infant child patients. Consult the Heart Start Intrepid IFU to determine the appropriate cannula and accessories. There are some factors to consider when selecting accessories for your particular sensor patient type, adult or pediatric, patient airway status, ventilated or not ventilated, and if ventilated, humidified or non-humidified, need for supplemental oxygen delivery, and possibility of mouth breathing.
To measure end tidal CO2, connect the tubing to the CO2 port on the Heart Start Intrepid. Confirm that the patient category is appropriate for this patient. When a sensor is connected to the CO2 port, the measurement is automatically turned on. To avoid inaccurate readings, the CO2 sensor needs to be reset and require a valid zero be performed when a new sample line is attached. There has been significant change in environmental conditions. When accuracy of the reading is questionable, or when prompted by the heart start intrepid. Before zeroing the sensor, remove the sampling line from the patient for at least 20 seconds and remove all sources of CO2 away from the sampling line. Zeroing the sensor can be done by using the zero CO2 soft key or accessing the zero function using the smart select knob. In this case, We'll demonstrate the procedure using the soft key. Confirm the heart start intrepid is in a clinical mode. Then, simply press the zero CO2 soft key and the CO2 zero in progress message appears on the display. The message disappears when zeroing is finished. There are two measurement values associated with ET CO2 monitoring. The first, is ETCO2, or end tidal carbon dioxide, the peak CO2 value measured during expiration. The second is AWRR, airway respiration rate, or the number of breaths per minute. In addition to the values, the monitor displays the CO2 waveform, or capnogram, in the configured wave sector, if available. This is the shape of a normal capnogram. It is important to note that on a capnogram, positive deflections represent expiration, whereas negative deflections represent inspiration, which is the opposite of most respiratory waveforms. The heart start intrepid also includes the traumatic brain injury or TBI advisory indication. It is only available on devices with SpO2 non-invasive blood pressure, and ETCO2 measurement parameters. When enabled, the TBI advisory will advise when SpO2, systolic blood pressure, or ETCO2 are outside of pre-configured parameters. If it is determined that action is needed, do so as directed by your local protocols.